Welcome to Dollar Store Gaming. This is Boombox Blue. Normally 99 cents, purchased for 54. <laughs> you might notice the game is framed kind of oddly. Believe it or not, that's just how it comes natively. It's in this sort of rounded box and everything else is black. The game describes itself as, this is what you get if you merge Tetris with physics and throw some bombs into the mix. Finally, I've always wanted those three things merged. Collect stars, avoid angry boxes, eat hamburger to get the plus sign, pick up bomb and drop bomb. Okay. I kind of like the, uh, the clouds being held up by sticks. It's kind of laid out like a play. I'm okay with that. Let's go. Hey, I already read this. Three. Box. Uh. Oh God. Okay. Speed up. Um, um. Level up! What? Uh, uh, uh. Oh god. No food drops. Is that a power up? No. New enemy arrives. Okay, please, give me a second to figure this out. I have one maximum. Oh dear. Okay. <clears throat> Upgrades. Oh, bigger explosions. Let's go. So the basic idea is just you have to keep collecting stars in order to level up, and then you drop bombs to destroy all these things for more points. This is the kind of thing I would pump a thousand quarters into as a kid. I mean, the game does have physics, but the only similarity to Tetris is that it has blocks. Hey! Oh god. How much does the bar go up? Wait, the bar doesn't go up when I blow these up? Then what's the point of anything? There's something weird about the graphics. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's like... It's like everything is slightly out of focus. It's like they tried for pixelation, but it doesn't work. Hamburger Ejection is the name of the achievement I just got. Everyone, please remember to consult your doctor if you've been ejecting hamburgers for more than a week. Winos! The game is, by the way, throwing achievements at me every five seconds. Ah! It's Thomas! But this time he's not alone! Yeah, you get achievements like every time you kill a certain number of any enemy. Oh dear. I have become one with them. This would, like I said, if this had been an old arcade game, I could have seen this being like a huge hit. Each time you get a star, you get like a tenth of a ticket. And you just keep playing it and keep playing it until you earn five million tickets, which is enough for two sticks of gum. Arcade ticket economy was messed up. Which just has a nice score. Nibs? I think you, you need to get different games. Like, not that this is bad, it's just kind of... Eh. One other thing. I Like I said, I really liked the sort of play aesthetic they had going with curtains and... You know, the clouds are on sticks. I kind of thought that would be reflected in gameplay. It's not. At all. I suspect they made the background for something else and then decided to make this. Or maybe somewhere out there, there's a visual novel play game that's like taking place where the background is like a puzzle game happening. And it kind of feels like the bombs, the only use for them is clearing space rather than getting points. It's like when I blow them up, I just get achievements. I assume it adds to my score though, let's see. No? What? Wait, hang on. I get no points from blowing the blocks up? Yeah, it's just a clear space. That's kind of boring. I have seriously gotten at least 15 achievements. I just want to point that out. You know what? I gotta check. How many achievements have I gotten? I've been playing for like 8 minutes and I've already gotten 16 achievements. And there's another... There's another 19 achievements to go. Wow. So, the question is, is Boombox Blue worth a dollar? It's close, but I'm gonna have to say no. Again, it's not bad. It's functional, it's an all-mouse-controlled arcade game. But it's so... Like... I don't know, there's so little to it. Once you've seen this much, you've seen it all. The only variety comes from different shaped blocks. There's no, like, actual progression, it doesn't feel like. The score doesn't have anything to do with the blocks. The bombs have nothing to do with the blocks. It feels like they added in a bunch of stuff, but none of it's actually implemented very well. 
or at all. There are many arcadey games on Steam. Go with another one. Unless you cannot get enough of, apparently, Tetris meets physics. Which, by the way, Tetris already had physics. They just were very limited. I'm sorry, I'm very emotional over Tetris. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more regular gaming content from shows such as Dollar Store Gaming, Game Boy Roulette, and The Brian J Presents. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.